All right, so I wanted to ask you, one of the things that I really liked about the movie is that the characters allowed you to really be outrageous and out there, but there is a psychology to them. So that, that range of comedy was something that was fun to play, because usually when they go cartoon, they stay there, but th it doesn't happen with that movie. So it's something that you liked, that it was a challenge. Yeah, it was cool because, like, like uh, speaking for, like, my character, he sort of loses his mind and mm -hmm. he kind of goes crazy and he sort of spins out of control, but you see how he got there. It's not like he was that way from the beginning and he didn't have anywhere to go. You saw him kind of build and like lose his mind, and all this horrible stuff's happening to him. Like, and it's all stacking on top of each other. So you can empathize with him, and you see why it actually happens. You How know? about you, uh, Aubrey? Um, yeah, I think my character um, ha she's you know has a lot of heart, and she's really doing you know, pulling off that whole scam for her friend because she wants to make her friend feel better. So but there's an underlying kinda, but she, kinda, yeah, that's a, but you kind of fall in like with somebody. But she crazy and then yes, she is a so you like, know, she falls in love, are maybe. You are you a little I don't know. Let's we'll let the audience decide. Well, let's talk about that because you guys not only have to have I find it interesting because uh, with actors you always talk about chemistry, but it does it not only you have to have chemistry with SAG, but it's kind of like a foursome type of thing mm -hmm. in the most G-rated R-rated way possible. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, right. So how was it when when the like the group scenes where you all building on the same sort of chemistry of between each other? As opposed Every to time I've had a foursome, it's always complicated <laughs> at first. Oh, then, like, where do I fit in? What was the question? I get that. What was the question? I get that. No, let's just let's have you say that again because I just freeze that every time I have a foursome, which I've never said out loud okay. before. Um, but I've never been in a foursome before. This is my first time. This is also my first time in a foursome. First First foursome. Yeah, it's my first foursome. So who's the, who's the best comedic partner in this foursome? I Not mean, to put you on the spot, but there we go. <laughs> Ding dong to the right. <laughs> Have you guys ever had to suffer through... I was so fake angry there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that fake, man. Uh, have you guys ever had to suffer through an actual destination wedding at all? Or because they seem to be a, a fodder. Like, Hawaii looked fun, so I don't know. I, it was I, awesome. Yeah. It was awesome she didn't move there. I've never... No, my friends always get married just in the worst places. Mm. Not anywhere fun. It's like, <laughs> we're in Nebraska for the wedding mm. at a golf course. And, and, we, like, and you just I went lost to your Nebraska Jamaica. Audience, right? yeah. I went yeah. to Jamaica for a destination wedding. Was it fun? Was amazing. Yeah, Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. Awesome. Get what? your hair braided. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you have to. Was it easy to connect? Because you your sense of humor uh, and, and the movie that you've done, as well as the TV show, is always like uh, it's quietly stealth. Like you're deadly when you drop uh, your, your mm -hmm. jokes. But she's more like extroverted. Was it, uh, it was it easy to connect with that sort of energy that your character has in this one? It was fun. It was it was really different than you know most things that I have done. So it was fun to play something more physical and really kind of like use my body as a instrument. It's a tool. Yeah, okay. just really get sexual, get my hands you were dirty, sexy. and. She and dirty. Just go crazy. Bad girl. <laughs> it was freeing. How about having the real guys of showing up on the set? Uh, was that fun to sort of play off of, or did you do your own version of what was? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were lucky in this that it, there it wasn't like no one knows Mike and Dave Stockholm. Mm -hmm. Like besides their friends, it's not like we're Nelson. Like I'm Nelson Mandela, and everyone's like. That no, we know he's doing a horrible, movie. horrible impression <laughs> of Nelson Mandel. So I kind of got to do my own thing. But after meeting them, I'm like, oh, it, it wasn't that far off. Like mm. they, the writers did a really good job of uh, of creating the characters based on these guys, and, and they they did a really good job making it feel real. So this is a dumb question, but I just a previous co-star that you would go on a double date with, because obviously, it, it, so a no, double date, a double date, because yeah, in the movie you guys sort of the pair they pair off. So anybody from a previous show that you would go on a double date with? Um, I mean, so many people. Um, well, that's good. Yeah, well, name one. Chris yeah. Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Anna, so fun. My TV so, yeah. husband and, and, her, uh, and Anna Ferris. Oh yeah. How about I you? Go to that's a dinner fun, with them. That's a fun couple. Don't pick hers. Who, who previous <laughs> co-star? <are> you <laughs> I'm gonna pick yours. No, they're mine. Get your own answer. Uh, I uh, hmm. A lot of them aren't married or anything. So you don't wanna, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I mean, not a date with them, like a double date. So a double date. That would be like they a would, wingman or yeah, a okay. wingwoman. Uh. Maybe Sarah Highland, oh, nice. my co-star on Modern Family. Nice. Uh, and then, 
She's dating some hunky, hunky dude named Dominic right now. Well, there mm. you go. Exclusive. Yeah, so. Yeah. So my last question, which I said, I played the Puerto Rican. I'm like, I'm Puerto Rican. Aubrey's Puerto Rican. I got to yeah, talk to her. Up? When was the last time you went to the island? Now? I haven't been there in a while, mm. but my dad is getting married in Puerto Rico. Nice. So you get a um, Puerto Rican wedding. Soon, and I'm in the wedding, and we're making a whole thing out of it. We're going to see my family. We're bringing everyone over there. Any craving so. for a special food or any place you want to go specifically? I don't know. I haven't been there in so long. We're going we're gonna to be outside of San Juan, so I don't know where to go. But my family that lives there, they live you know, in the hills near Arecibo and... You my know, mom's from Arecibo. All... Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll hit you up on Twitter where you should go. Yeah. Arecibo, so, yeah. I was, you know, I like home home cooking. Con well, mucho gusto. Así que, boricua, boricua. Yeah, anyway, boricua, not to leave you boricua. out. <laughs> well, I'm going to go too. Nice meeting you.